Okay, so to set up the router, we need to go into Internet Explorer. We need to go to the router itself, which will be at that 192.168.1.1. Then the username will be admin, and password will be admin. That's the default setting for the router. Then you will go uh, Internet Settings, and then you will change the dial number. Or you click on manual, dial number will be just star 99 hash. You take out this uh, username and password here, and you put in for um, for using a Vodacom SIM card, you'll put unrestricted here, un oh, unrestricted, like that, unrestricted, and you will save it. That's for Vodacom. For, uh, Telcom Mobile, you'll put internet. So we're using Telcom now, so we put internet. So you apply that. So after that's applied, that's now the uh, 3G sorted out. Now you need to set up the wireless of the router. So you will see here it says your uh, network. Okay, you go to wireless. Uh, basic settings and it'll say a network name SSID so that you need to change and give it a name so if you have three let's say you want to put these three cameras in our office and our office is models and all okay so then you will put yeah the, the name where you want to put the cameras so let's say it's storeroom one and you know there's three cameras at storeroom one um, because it's gonna that router is gonna broadcast this name so when you search it on your on your phone on your laptop, it'll say like storm one yeah. says uh, storm water. Yeah, um, that will be that router is at storm water. So all the three cameras at storm water will connect to storm water. Okay. Okay. So let's say um, storm water. Okay. And then yeah, there's thirteen channels that you can pick. Every router can try and get every router that if they're close to each other, so that they are the the channels are far away from each other. So you can see on Google, and you will see there uh, if you just search Wi-Fi channel there, it'll show you the from one to twelve or thirteen, and then which ones don't touch each other. So like I think it's uh, one, no no three. 6 and 11 they don't touch each other so you'll have to just see um, if you're using an Android device there's an application called uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer so you can use that and you can log in there and then you can see what wireless networks are in your area where the phone is right. and then you can see what channel they're on and then you just pick the channel that's they don't use the one that they don't use the least one that they don't use so like for now I'm gonna just say six um, I think one of our routers are also on six but it's not a it's not a major issue there it's just to try and optimize okay. the wireless okay so once you set the name there um, then you can apply here yeah? then it will change the, the name of the SSID so if you're connected to the wireless router via Wi-Fi now it would change and then you would need to connect to the new name to access the router again um, okay, so that's now changed. Then you will go to security. Yeah, you need to put an encryption for the router, uh, a password if you could call it that. Yeah. So the the best encryption is WPA2, PSK. That's the strongest encryption. And then yeah, you will put an encryption key. So um, you can put your uh, storm water as the encryption. Um, Try not to make it so obvious always, but you know if you know, people must know that password to access the router. So let's apply that. You you can just select any one of these algorithms or both of them. It's also fine. So it's best is to connect it with a cable for the first setup, because now if you had connect via wireless, you would have need to 
connect, then change something, then it'll disconnect. Then you need to connect again and then change something yeah. and disconnect. Where with a cable, it's there's no passwords or anything. It's just working. And then you can set up everything and then once the, everything is set up, then you can use the wireless. So that's basically is the name and the, the encryption. So if I, that's the first one we're going to do. If I do another one. Yeah, let's say you, there's now another router that we have to set up. Yeah. So that's storm water. And the other one is uh, so drain water. Dewatering. Dewatering. Right. So that one is dewatering. You will set up dewatering with its own encryption uh -huh. and its own SSID. And this one will have its own encryption and SSID. You can make them all the same passwords if you want to say like WSSA is the password. That's right. They all have the same password. They just have different names. Different names. And different channels if they within 100 meters from each other. Or 200 or 300 meters from each other. If, if I'm sticking it up higher on poles, like you said, if yeah. they talk to each other. Yeah. Then, then it'll be a different setting. That's a different setting for the router then. One router will, you'll have one main router, which is set like this one, and the other one will connect to it as a client. Okay. Then the channel doesn't matter so much. But I'll, I'll show you how that works as well. Um, that's the basic setting of the router. When you start adding cameras that you need to access via the internet, okay. you will go here to firewall, and you will do port forwarding. This is the part that you need to register with Vodacom for and MTN and Cell C don't give you this option through the network. Okay. So to do that, um, I'll, I'll, we'll get back to this one. But now the router is set, now we can add a camera to it. Okay. Okay. Um, This time we did eight times finish on that card, but it's not an issue. Um, okay, so now we can unplug it from here, and now we can go to the wireless, and then you'll see it there storm water connect, and then you'll put in that password which was storm water. Okay, and then it'll connect. And then it'll all the router will again give the computer an uh, IP address for it to use on the network. Um, but what you want to always try and do is uh, try and give it a fixed. Everything must have a fixed IP address. Then you know everything is going to work together. Um, so the the router is at 1.1, but this camera will give will connect automatically to the router. That will pick up its own IP address from a start. So let me just see the, the CD for this. You see the small CD is in the computer. No, no, this one is a, a different one. So we're gonna do this camera now. Oh uh, okay so only camera's got this um, this side. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna add this camera now. So all these cameras will use the CD. All those cameras will use the CD. Okay any need that's why I copied it to the computer. So you have it on your computer. Right? So you don't need to always plug in CDs and stuff. Um, you can plug this in here. Well, actually, I don't want to plug it in now. I'll just show you what it does when it. So um, on here as well is how to set up the wireless, how to do port forwarding. But it's not with our router, it's with another router. But if you just look in the router, you'll find that same thing. So we need to set up this uh, IP cam setup. And just say next, next, and we'll install. And just say you can just say yes if you want to restart your computer, but it's not necessary. And um, then we can copy all these files to another CD, another folder on the computer, say CD2, okay but now that program is on, it's this one here with the camera on it, so if you open it, this tool will pick up 
all of those type of cameras that's on the network. Okay. So I'm gonna plug this one in now. Now th those cameras are set as DHCP, so it'll pick up an IP address from the router and it'll tell you then, okay, I've, the router's given it this IP and it'll be the last number of the router's IP that will change. So let's just see. Okay, in this case it didn't change, so I'm going to just show you how to change it, mm. um, because you need to do it anyway. Okay, they, they changed it on the last second. It changed it. So it's 192.168.1.4 is the thing it changed. So you mm. right click here, uh, click on it, and then right click, Nitro configuration. Yeah, you need to just change this to an IP address that you're going to use. So uh, I normally start them from about 11. And then this is that port that you need to set to add it in the port for you. Okay. So this is very important to use via the internet. Uh, but I'll show you how that works. This doesn't have a password, so you, it's just admin. Once you do that, you can say OK. And it'll restart using that new IP address that you've given it. So now that now we have the IP address for this, um, so I'm just gonna it's always good to write down when you're setting it up, write down what you've set. So the router we set to 192.168.1.1 and the encryption was um, get letter S storm water and the encryption was also the same and it was a W P A 2 P S K encryption okay so make sure you write this down because when when you add the when you set up the cameras you're going to need to know that information so now we have camera one um, which we assigned is 192.168.1.11 with a port of 81 so when it searches it will tell you there there's the dot 11 81 okay. now we can access the camera if you double click on that it will open the camera and the it's just admin to get into the the, the, the user is admin. Then you will see okay we're using Internet Explorer and then for each camera there's a driver that needs to install. So you can say run this add-on run and then it will um, I see you guys already installed that driver. Okay, so yeah, this has got a very uh, narrow lens, so it's zoomed in quite a lot. So the clarity will actually only work at about 20 or 30 meters away. Put it there. And then the resolution is always on the default, which is the medium resolution. And you can put it on a high resolution. Um, then the picture is a bit slower, okay. um, but anyway, that's that's with the picture. Now to get back to the network and adding it to the wireless so that we can use it on the Wi-Fi. So you go network here. Yeah?